Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you to everyone who commented on my previous video and hit that like button. I really, really appreciate it. But today I am back with a haul. <laughs> I know I just said in my previous video that I'm not into hauls anymore, but someone requested that I show you what I got the other day and who am I to deny your requests, right? I went shopping the other day and I actually filmed a bit of it on Snapchat so if you don't follow me on Snapchat go ahead and do so. I'll put my username in the info bar below. Um, basically it's hey underscore June. Anyways, I went to Sports Girl and found this super, super, super cute co ward outfit that I feel like I have to share with you guys because if you like it, you need to go out and get yourself the same pair. <laughs> Basically, it is a knit co ward piece. Um, it's something that I've actually seen around um, from Zara before, um, but every time I went to Zara, I never found it. So I was just head over heels when I actually found it in Sports Girl of all places. So let me just introduce what it is first. This is what it looks like. It is a very, very loose knit um, in this like mixed raspberry color. This is the SKU number for anyone interested. So that is the SKU number. I hope you can see that. Yep. I'll put the SKU number of this item in the info bar for anyone interested. But the first piece I wanted to show you is the top. Um, so as you can see, it's a really nice, loose and flowy top. Features a boat neck neck detail, three quarter length flare sleeves with this split detail. The bottom also has a split detail on the side and it's just really nice and loose. Um, this is a really cute top that you can buy on its own and wear it with skinny jeans boyfriend jeans I've actually tried styling it and yeah it's really really easy to style I love how loose fitted it is and the relaxed cool vibes it gives I think it will look really cute with like a um, neck scarf or something like that so that is that and the second piece that I wanted to share with you guys are these pants also made of the same knitted material and it's more of like a uh, a knitted culotte or a crop palazzo pants um, is really really cute initially I was a little bit hesitant purchasing these pants because although the top is really easy to style I initially thought these pants were a little bit harder to style um, but actually they look super cute with like a singlet top or another knitted um, sleeveless top that you may have already in your possession um, so this was actually easy enough to style and I'm really happy I got the the set as I've mentioned I've seen um, several Instagrammers wear similar co ward set from Zara but I've also seen it on ASOS this is the first time I've seen it from a sports girl which is an Australian brand but they do have an online store and I do believe they ship internationally if you guys are interested um, but they I've also seen it on ASOS um, a similar pair but it was a lot more expensive and I don't really like it as much I feel like it was a little bit different but the main Instagrammer who I got a lot of inspiration from um, with that co -ord. her name is Shalini Palapus. I believe is actually the fashion buyer for Sports Girl, so that might be the reason why Sports Girl has it in stock. But let me just show you her Instagram. That's her Instagram feed. Um, but yeah, you guys should check her out if you haven't already. Next, um, I actually went to Dotty and purchased a few things also. So. This is the first thing I want to show you. It is another knitted top. I know we're in the middle of like a really, really hot summer, but um, I saw this and winter is, you know, winter will be coming eventually. So I knew this would be something I'd like to style around that time. But it is turtleneck sleeveless top with a white grid pattern, as you can see there. Um, it's really thick, so it's definitely something you need to wear um, around fall or winter. I love these kind of tops, if you guys can remember from my just very recent video. It looks super, super cute with boyfriend jeans, skinny jeans, and a blazer even. Um, and it's got an asymmetric hemline there. Next I fashion item from Dottie that I bought are uh, these tops. So I'm actually wearing one of them right now. Um, these two items I bought a little bit earlier, quite a lot earlier, but um, they're actually still very much in stock. So check out Dottie if you haven't already. But it's basically a top with a um, sort of neckline detail and this cutout here 
it's very reminiscent of the Cameo Collective tops. I'm not really sure what they're called, um, but they also came in these gorgeous dresses. Um, but it is a cheaper alternative if you want the same look but not pay for you know those kind of prices. It was fifty dollars each. I bought it in the white and the black. I think it's super cute, and I only got it in the top, but you can get them in the dresses. Again, this would look super cute with boyfriend jeans. Anything with boyfriend jeans, I think, looks adorable. And just some nice lace-up heels or something like that for a more, you know, cool but fashionable outfit. <laughs> and I, those are it for fashion buys. So I quickly wanted to show you my makeup purchases. Um, like I said, I haven't really been buying makeup a lot lately, but these were items that I needed to actually repurchase they're all mostly repurchases and I wouldn't buy them unless I really needed it so I just wanted to show you a few of the things that um, I've bought as you know backup of staple makeup items in my collection and I'll never be without so I'll start off by sharing you um, with you my favorite lip product I've snapchatted this recently but I love my NYX soft matte lip cream in London and I also got it in Abu Dhabi it's more of a nude brownie um matte lip color it's not what i'm wearing on my lips today i've actually mixed it with a another darker lip shade but um if i'm wearing a nude matte color on my lips 99 percent of the time it would be this so yeah i bought like six because although they have them in target in australia it's actually out of stock a lot of the time so i just went ahead and purchased it online it's equivalent almost to the same price with the um, exchange rate and everything but it was just more convenient for me so that's Abu Dhabi and London for those who are asking London is just a smidge lighter I think they translate to be the same color on your lips anyways but maybe if you're a little bit more pale um, you can see the color difference more but with someone who's tan and you already have a bit of a darker um, like a pigmented natural lip I think the difference in color is not as obvious so staple in my collection continuing with you know repurchases i also um, went ahead and bought two backups of the nyx rouge cream blush in 09 orange this is my favorite like cream blush that i use um it's a gorgeous like um light orange color that's really easy to apply and it gives you a really nice orange peachy flushed cheek um, so I really really like it I've already started using this and this is actually what I've got on my cheeks right now um, really versatile product and um, I guess you can use it as an orange anything so orange corrector orange lip color but I mostly use this as a blush just because it works great that way and yeah bought two because I love this stuff. The next staple item that I want to share with you are these Milani Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Eyeshadow Pencil in 03 Champagne Post. I also bought three. Um, one I'm using right now and I've actually got it on my waterline. Um, I, if you guys follow me for a long time you would know I love, love, love putting like a shimmery eyeshadow on my waterline um, just to open up my eyes because I do have Asian eyes so they tend to be quite small. This is my favorite eyeliner from the drugstore. So the more expensive alternative is actually the Sephora um, waterproof eyeshadow pencil in beige and my brother's gorgeous girlfriend bought this from me, for me when she went overseas. So Celeste, thank you very much. You are beautiful. Thank you. Um, so I have plenty of these, you know, shimmery eyeshadow pencils to use for a long time yet. But, you know, at the rate that I use them, I do go through it quite quite quickly so I'm really glad to have bought three when the sale was on so that's that sticking to um, eyeshadow pencils I purchased a few more from Milani just because I think these jumbo eyeshadow pencils are the best thing um, in the makeup world since sliced bread um, <laughs> no but really it's, I think it's one of the best makeup like product that the makeup industry brought out I just think that they're so convenient especially when they stay on for like 12 hours it's amazing so um, I got it in almond cream 
which is like a matte beige and I can use this um, on the waterline if I don't want it to be shimmery and I want to keep a more matte shade or you know as brow bone highlight just like a matte highlight even on the face if you need and I also got it in 09 Cafe Olay which is a medium muted brown a huge staple in my makeup arsenal is the um, MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Quite Natural unfortunately I tried looking for it I cannot find it right now but I was just using it but this is such a great alternative from the drugstore um, I've already actually opened it and I'm using it on my waterline right now but it is a medium muted brown just there um, but it is so so gorgeous it's so so close to the MAC pen pot quite in quite natural so if you love that product or if you want to try it out go ahead and pick this up I think this is just a convenient way to carry like something like that because MAC pen pot in quite natural is like an everyday makeup item for me if I'm doing like a brown like light smoky eye that is what that is my go-to makeup product and I always enjoy having it with me this is something I can just chuck in my cosmetic bag and have on the go I can just you know um, chuck it on and then you know blend it out really recommend it I actually want to purchase a backup because I only bought one to try it out wish I bought two <laughs> Sticking to the Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil um, line, this is a similar item from a different brand. It's actually by Giordana, but I do believe Milani and Giordana are under the same like umbrella of like makeup companies. Um, so probably the same formulation anyways. I got three. I got one in Continuous Almond, which is similar to the um, Almond Cream by Milani. And I also got it in... 03 Tenacious Brown and um, this is a much much darker um, brown as you can see there so this would be perfect for you know those darker brown smoky eyes and I also got it in um, 02 Stay On Black now this black is just spot on amazing uh, like this is a very dark dark rich black and I really really like it I need to stop saying if you follow me on snapchat um well if you saw my snapchat I showed you guys how black this stuff is um and it stays on the waterline so so well I barely wear black eyeshadow on my waterline just because it transfers and it you know it goes down here and um it's just it gets messy um but this is so so easy to apply it's very black it doesn't come off as a gray it's an actual black color um and it's so so creamy stays on for a long time like what more can you ask like and it's so cheap it was like two dollars three dollars so highly recommend this especially if you like kajal like eyeliners but want something that lasts a little bit longer check this out so that's it for like my jumbo eyeshadow pencils moving on to concealers i actually had to purchase this because i've been meaning to try them out for a very very long time but i had no real like need for them nor did i have any opportunities to go and buy them i just feel like if um like going on beauty joint just to purchase these would be a waste of money so i wanted to have like a reason to buy something from beauty joint apart from just buying these but anyways they are the la colors pro conceal hd concealers um obviously these have been around for a long time and like i said i've been meaning, meaning to try them out for years ever since i heard about them but they've been um compared to the mac pro longwear concealers but the reason why um, they're so popular is because they're so cheap there's so many different colors that you can use it to contour to highlight to color correct you can use it as a foundation so it's really really quite versatile for what it is and how much you pay for it so I got two highlight shades two contour shades and one color correct so the, the first two highlight shades that I got um, is in creamy beige and pure beige creamy beige is a little bit lighter this I bought to like highlight under my eyes and this I bought as an actual concealer I also got two contour shades so for anyone who is more of a darker complexion you would use this as a concealer if it matches your skin tone but I guess for anyone who's lighter you can actually use this as a great contour color and I'm actually using one of them right now and that is the dark cocoa I got dark cocoa and toast so that's dark cocoa there 
there. And the last but not the least is this orange corrector. If you don't know how to use orange correctors, you basically use them to correct dark circles um, and dark pigmentation just to counteract the blue and the green in your complexion. A lot of people have like pigmentation around the lips, so that might be an area that you could use this. And then you put your foundation on top. So it's used to correct underneath so that when you put the foundation on, you get more of an even skin tone. And last but not least, I um, needed to stock up on some eyelashes. I bought a few sets. First one I want to show you are these Ardell Demi Wispies Multi Pack. These are great lashes to use just for every day. They look really natural, but they give you a lot of like volume on your lashes and they give you like that flirty flick. And I also got two cherry blossom eyelashes as well. First one I want to show you another Demi Wispies. A little bit different to the Ardell lashes. I feel like the Ardell lashes have a lot more volume, but basically quite similar but my favorite are the cherry blossoms in 415 I'm actually wearing it right now it gives you like really like wide-eyed um, flushery look um, I really really enjoy them it's I think it's actually a lot more dramatic than the Demi Wispies just because they're a lot longer and um, they have more of like the separated eyelash look which gives you like that doe-eyed look <laughs> anyways um, and Lastly, of course, I needed to stock up on my Duo Lash Adhesive, which is my go-to um, lash adhesive. If you have trouble applying eyelashes, maybe try switching over to Duo. It's really, really easy to apply them using this. But that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you try some of the products um, that I mentioned. All the makeup products that I've shown you are basically staples for me, so definitely check them out. I got them all from Beauty Joint. It's like my go-to place for buying American drugstore um, brands, um, just because it's cheap. The shipping's you know affordable. It's not too outrageous, and they have a really large variety of like drugstore makeup products. This isn't a sponsored video or an affiliate video or anything like that. Um, I do have a discount code from many, many years ago when, you know, I did a video for them, but thereafter everything's been purchased with my own money. I do like the service that they provide. It's, you know, it's reliable and it's affordable. So definitely check it out. Um, so that's it for me, you guys. Um, hopefully I'll have this up and edited as soon as I can. Let me know what your thoughts are on any of the products I mentioned earlier. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and want to see more. It really, um, really helps me and motivates me to keep making these videos for you guys. But nonetheless, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And hopefully you guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.